on this trip, I'll plug a family hooked it up. I'll pull your ticket. I'm up, pull your ticket. Swear. Look at your seat. Damn. 4G. It's Boeing 777. The boys are flying business. Yeah, That's right. Everybody's flying business. First class, baby. We're sitting with you? Yeah. Typically, Ennis and I ball out when we're traveling like LA to Istanbul. We have to pay a lot. <laughs> we have to pay a lot of money for this. Alpago really hooked it up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Dal, don't get used to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine a city that was only built a few decades ago. International population, incredible buildings and structures, homes that are some of the most luxurious we have ever toured on our channel, and a city that is so dynamic, moving nonstop, filled with luxury cars. That city is Dubai. And on this video, we're opening up our books to show you guys what happened on our two-week trip to Dubai? This place is just unreal. Look at the lineup. Insane. I think it's going to be the craziest 12 days we have ever spent anywhere. It was actually Armand's first time in Dubai, and he saw these really nice two-tone Maybachs parked outside, and he's like, man, this scene is so Dubai. Some successful or rich person is gonna just walk outside, get in these Maybachs, and go to their destination. And as he's telling me the story, I'm laughing because I'm like, Armand, look closely. See who those cars are for. They were actually for us. What is this? Like, two Maybachs? We have two Maybachs picking us up. Alpago is going all out, and uh, you feel kind of spoiled. So Dal and I went into one of the Maybachs, Mike and Arma went into the other one, and we were off to our hotel. I get used to this, Ennis. Yeah, I don't blame you. Alpago Homes, thank you. We are at the hotel. Hotel was really, really awesome. Can you show the link to this hallway real quick? Woo! And the rooms are actually really, really spacious. Everybody got a space on their own. We also had a kitchen. Living room was really spacious, so it really was a comfortable environment for us to not only to get rest, but to enjoy Dubai and get some work done. So we were here a few months ago. If you all remember that Ferris wheel over there, we actually filmed a penthouse. We can see it from here. Perfect view. Welcome to our house for the next 12 days. I think this is going to be the craziest trip we've ever put together. I think it's going to be the craziest 12 days we have ever spent anywhere. I agree. Let's explore. Let's explore. All right, touchdown, Gravener Hotel. We checked in, we had a great nap because we were a little bit tired and now we're getting in our car. We get First Motors G63. It's a little overkill. You know, I don't know what to say, but hey, if they're gonna give us, we'll drive it. So the car culture in Dubai is really big and Alpaga family was kind enough to give us a G63 AMG as our daily driver. And this car is amazing. It looks incredible, it's loud. <laughs> Fully loaded, quarter million dollar SUV, extremely fast. It is just like a monster of an SUV, and we had a lot of fun driving that around town. We're in Dubai, back to this ridiculous, crazy, but super fun lifestyle. I love it. <laughs> First motors. I'm on. I'm on your eye. Let us show you guys the Dubai Mall.
So the focus of this Dubai trip was these two homes that were developed by Alpago Properties. They were both insane, modern homes, amazing views. They're on the front, subterranean garages. It was a lot of fun shooting them. This right here looks like my wallpaper in Windows XP, but it's not, it's actually real. Obviously, Dubai is known for being very hot, but I think we kind of underestimated how hot it was gonna be when we were filming. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually cold. It's like 108 degrees outside, um, but it's, it's just icy in here, I like it. So as you transition from this cold space to this hot space, going from inside to outside, your camera lens fogs up. We would have to keep cameras outside so we could go get our exterior shots when we needed, because it was about a 20 minute process to let our cameras kind of warm up. Alpago Group asked us what kind of cars we wanted in the garage. So I wasn't sure what was our limit, but I told them, the better cars we have, the better our video will look. Boy, oh boy, once these cars started coming, it was like, we're gonna have like $20 million worth of cars in the garage. You name it, they had it. They just kept coming and honestly, I was kind of like out of work just watching these cars roll. As part of our second property walkthrough, we wanted to feature a really nice, fast car driving through the city, arriving to the house. I've asked Alpago Group if we can borrow a Ford GT to use in a video, and I can't believe this, but they said yes. It's really cool to see like a million dollar Ford, like an American car, being so popular in Europe and the Middle East. It turns heads everywhere you go. I look out the window, I see Mikey in the G63 with the guys shooting from the car. I'm in a million dollar car, they're in a quarter million dollar car. We're on speaker phone. I'm trying to tell him to go faster, go slower. He's trying to hear me over the roar of his engine. Yes. Go, 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 go. I'm going, I'm going. I'm it was intense, it was nerve wracking, but it was so much fun. This place is just unreal. We really wanted to get some really cool night shots of the GT, so we all woke up about 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning and got the entire city of Dubai to ourselves. Look at him. <laughs> Everyone at the gas station is just like, who are these people? 3.30 in the morning, we're gonna film the car. Mikey, this lane, right lane, what am I doing? Let's get on the freeway first. All right, good game. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> we just arrived in this thread. I always seen the salt bay, the steaks and all that good stuff, but I've actually never dined here. I know guys are excited. Let's go in, let's get some good food. Alpaga family always takes care of us so well. We basically tried every single dish they had in this restaurant and we got the full, I guess, salty experience. The way they present these steaks and the way they prepare them, it's like a show in itself. Like, it almost feels like going to like a Benihana but with like a $500 piece of meat instead. And we ate two of them. As part of the first property tour, we wanted to feature someone from Dubai in the video to get their perspective, to get their opinion about Dubai. 
That person was Alex, Supercar Blondie. Obviously, she has an amazing international presence. She loves cars. And when you think about that house, one of the biggest components of that house was the subterranean garage. So we felt like it was an amazing fit. Alex? Yes. Welcome to the great room. Woo! Look at this. Look Pretty how nice, high huh? it is. I showed her around a little bit so she can get a good idea of the place. Wow. We took her downstairs to the subterranean garage, set up this beautiful frame where she sits down. All these incredible cars are behind her. I mean, talking about own brand, talking about putting the right person in front of camera with an incredible background, right? Our interview with her went fantastic. I mean, she is so good on camera. We got to hear her talk about the car culture in Dubai. It was a lot of fun, but somewhere in the interview, we asked her, what was her favorite car? Oh, do you know, I'm gonna go for the Ford GT. I don't see a lot of Ford GTs. And actually, I wanted one. And I got an allocation, but then the price shot up. At that point, I just didn't have the money for it. So it was like a stab in the heart. What she didn't know right at that moment was we had a Ford GT waiting for us at the other house, which is literally right around the corner. I told Mikey, hold Alex, keep talking with her. I'm gonna go to the other house. I'm gonna ask the guys to bring the Ford GT so we can surprise her. And that's exactly what we did. Alex, what do you think of the surprise? It's awesome. I love Ford GT. Ah, how many more are you gonna surprise me today? All right, let's go drive it. Nick is a manager and husband of Supercar Blondie, Alex. He saw how excited Alex was after the ride, so he wanted to give it a spin himself. Surprise! You like it? I love it! It's nice, right? It's such a special Thank time. you guys. Thank you for uh, hanging out with us today. It's we been really a pleasure. It. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. All right. Obviously, Alex has a really big presence on the internet, on YouTube, and we're always curious to see how other content creators run their businesses. Alex actually has an office in Dubai on the Palm, so on this trip, we had a chance to visit their office. This is our main studio. Wow. wow. So everything's completely soundproof. And yeah, so this is where we yeah, do some we of our shows. fancy cameras too, <laughs> okay? Yeah. yeah, you're not the only one high-end <laughs> stuff, okay? Some of you may think, ah, oh, Ines, you make two videos every week and then you have Instagram and Facebook. You probably have a couple team members working with you. That is so far from the truth. Our team currently, as we're doing this video, is 17 people, which is just insane. Wait till you see Alex's operation. You gotta check this out. Their office is multiple levels. Computers after computers. Editors, videographers, management staff. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of an eye-opening experience. Thanks, man. We gotta kick you guys out. I'll do, do they need to be kicked out? Yeah, get the out. Yeah, get the <laughs> We got stuff to do here, people. Come on. Get out of here. Safe travels. Safe travels. <laughs> Bye, guys. Now, imagine this for a second. Palm Jumeirah is a man-made palm island. It has leaves, it has these canals, neighborhoods. Then you have these massive developments. I mean, billions of dollars worth of developments and you're right in the center of it on a little electric jet surfboard, riding around, looking around to take it all in. It's almost an overwhelming experience in the best way possible. And I gotta say, being on that board, seeing the surroundings is without a doubt one of my most memorable moments in Dubai.
another day in Dubai. We're riding the Ford GT. So much fun to drive this car. Yeah. It's super fast, obviously. Everybody looks at you, even in Dubai. Like, that's how cool this car sits on the road. Now, should we show everyone, like, a little bit of speed? Yes. All right, let's, let's see how it goes. So we're currently on Ford gear, third gear. I'm not even on Sport mode or anything. Oh my god, it's an adrenaline rush, like, it's so good. Quick recap, we're going to First Motors. We love First Motors, you guys saw the video on NS Plus, and uh, we want to go there, say hi to Ali, check out their new inventory, see what's up. Upstairs they have B1 properties, Babek has been making a lot of progress with the brokerage, I'm excited to see that, say hi to Babek, check out the vibe. Every time I walk into First Motors, it blows my mind away. I've been there so many times still. Every time I walk in, I'm like, what am I gonna see now? What kind of a unique car they're gonna have? This place is just out of this world. Look at the lineup. Insane. Like, LaFerrari Aparta is a six and a half million dollar car. The way they just have it on the side, not a big deal. Just on the side is just like, I have a speed tail here. I think that's F40. That's a McLaren, P1 GTR. And here's the funny part. We have like 15 of the cars at the villas right now and like they don't even need those. Showroom still looks pretty insane. This is Armand's first time in First Motors, so get his reaction. Uh, it's just insane. Bloody Chiron welcomes you. I'm gonna check each car individually. I'm gonna give them a, a love. I love this place. Ali is one of the most humble guys I know. As you guys know, a lot of times these high-end places, these restaurants or these car dealerships, you walk in, you almost feel uncomfortable, you feel intimidated. Not with First Motors, not with Alpaga family. Even if you cannot afford these cars, if you walk in there with your kid, you wanna just take a few photos and look at these cars, they will welcome you, I really mean it. This is why I love them, this is why I enjoy working with them. They're in it to run a good business and just make sure they provide a ton of value to their customers. Ali's bragging at me uh, with like the fact that the stock is keep getting better. I'm like, that's expected. That's just like, yeah. Now we're changing the look of the showroom into more collector pieces. And keep in mind, some of their yeah. best cars also are at the villa. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna be coming here soon, and uh, yeah, we're changing everything. So. Awesome. So you got a lot of comments on that video. Oh. Six hundred thousand views already yeah. on the uh, First Motors tour. If you haven't checked it already, links in the description. What are your favorite comments? I have a lot of people coming to me, telling me they know me. And uh, they're like, yeah, we saw you on that Ennis channel. And I'm like, yeah. So you look good. Yeah, good. I feel like a celebrity now. All right, show us like the new, some like key highlights. Okay, so we have this uh, yellow Enzo also. This just arrived Ooh. yesterday as well. So uh, total Enzo's produced 399 pieces. And of the yellow one, approximately 30 of them produce and uh, 700 kilometers only. Wow. And what's the year on this car? This one is 2003. That's crazy. Yeah. Price tag? It's actually been sold already, but uh, the value would be around 20 million dirhams, which is roughly around 5.5 million dollars. Gotcha. Within First Motors, they have the seating area, and over there they serve you coffee, water, drinks. They also have this ice cream machine that makes these coffee-flavored ice creams. They taste so good. Uh, Jack, can we have some of the ice cream coffee? All right, let's try this ice cream. Thank you. Let's give this one a go. I mean, it's Dubai at the end of the day. It's a little hot out here, so ice cream goes handy, you know? Yeah, ice cream and espresso. There you go. <laughs> All right, this, this is why I was excited to get up early this morning. It's too good. The most incredible so ice cream yeah, experience. I'm having so much fun with my ice cream. Thank you so much for the tour. Thank you for coming. Hopefully we'll be back here in a few months. Sure. And when we come back, what should we expect? Definitely bigger inventory in the classical cars and the bigger inventory in the hyper cars. So uh, definitely newer stuff. Awesome. We'll see you guys then. I know you guys met Bobak on our last video, but just in case, let me introduce him. Big Jafari, B1 Properties. He's kind of our leader here when it comes to real estate. We follow his lead. Babek leads B1 Properties, which is the brokerage that is owned by Alpago Properties. Obviously, they sell all of Alpago's homes on top of selling other properties. All these below you see now are the highest transaction ever happened in Palm Jumeirah. Whatever built. These are all custom built villas. And I feel like slowly you guys are gonna keep upping that number, yeah. huh? Yeah. 
Amazing. And we got a big plot, double signature there, which is around 30,000 plot size, and build up is around 29,000. Perfect, this looks insane. Yeah. Is this an Infinity H pool? Yes, this is designed by um, Sauta. Really? We got here camera Aurora, which is, you know, yeah. park shop. Yeah. So he does like hotels, buildings now. So this is like one of a kind villa now. It's really fun and educating to walk around with Babek because he knows every area of Dubai so well. He knows the dynamics of these development companies. He knows the area, the culture. So I learned a lot from him. We talk about the luxury properties now. Mm -hmm. We have so much demand here. Like we get many clients from Russia, from Ukraine, from all over the world now. So this is what the market needs at the moment and what is missing. What a great office setup. You walk in the first floor, you buy yourself a really nice car. You come upstairs, you get yourself a really nice home. And if that wasn't enough, you walk to the left on the second floor because soon Alpago is going to have an amazing watch store there. You get yourself a nice watch. Your whole setup is complete. You can just go into the Dubai lifestyle. How do you think having that crazy car dealership on the first floor, amazing watch store on the left, is going to help your business here? Actually, it does. Yeah. That's where most of our clients come. So whoever buying, like, let's say, $10 million cars, they could just offer to pay one of these villas. These guys make you feel so comfortable. Like, we go all around the world, which were amazing, amazing properties. But I always tell the guys, like, there are certain relationships we have, we treat them differently. And uh, Alpaga family, Babek, B1 First Motors, it's that way. Every time we come here, we do as much as we can for them because they really deserve it. So on Instagram, a few months ago, this gentleman named Orkan reached out to me. Uh, he's like a business owner, entrepreneur, restaurateur here in Dubai. And he was like, if you ever come to Dubai, please come visit me, come see my restaurant. Unfortunately, he's in Germany right now, but he was so passionate about us visiting his places. Like, restaurant is ready for you. Show up there with the guys, have a good time. So, bro, let's eat. It's this amazing space that has a massive terrace looking over the mall, amazing views. Look where we are. Look what we do. <laughs> like, we're in Dubai. Owner of the restaurant invited us. We have this amazing seating. We have this show behind us. Burj Khalifa is right here. Like, pick up some energy. Life's good. Like, where the food is at, you know? They gave us mocktails, appetizer after appetizer, main dishes. There's a lot of food. Presentation is pretty good. I kept looking around to see if our guys can handle it. Uh, I think we did just fine. We thought Japanese cheesecake. Jeez. Everything they have here looks so like Instagram worthy. You want to just take a photo of it. This one looks like super sweet. So good. So, so good. <laughs> so that was a great dinner. We had mocktails, which I didn't know it exists. And uh, thank you so much, Thro. Make sure to check him out. Links in the description. And uh, I'm glad we came here. I got a really interesting story for you guys. Check this out. You cannot fly a drone over Palm Jumeirah. It's not allowed. It doesn't matter if you pull a filming permit, doesn't matter. You cannot fly a drone over this part of Dubai because it's one of the most prestigious locations in the entire country. Alpago ended up renting a military helicopter to fly over Palm Jumeirah. Being in the helicopter and looking down over the entire city of Dubai was an incredible experience. I usually fly the drone at these shoots, but being able to have that perspective from your own eyes was really unforgettable. It was wild. I was literally watching them fly over us to get these aerial shots. What a crazy life we live, you know? As a team, 
We love pushing our limits to make the best content possible for you guys. Working with Alpago Group, Alpago Properties, First Motors, teaming up with such amazing brands allow us to push our limits, allow us to create amazing content. First of all, I want to give them big thanks for their incredible hospitality and I also want to give them big thanks for trusting us, allowing us to represent their brands and give the Dubai experience to all of you guys. Again, big thanks to them for making this trip such a success. Hopefully in the future, we come back to Dubai.